For all you guys who've cursed and sworn and figured it was impossible to do it without special tools, I've got a quick, simple, 10-minute redneck solution to change quad tires, or ATV tires, whatever you want to call them. There's all, you t all the tools you need. A screwdriver, a serrated edge kitchen knife, a vice grip, some lubrication, and an acetylene welding torch. Propane won't work. So, if you want to get rid of your tire, for whatever reason, and you don't want to save it, but you want to get it off the rim, what you do is you get your serrated knife and cut out a hole. Just like that. To stab it, slice, slice, slice. The only trick is I'll show you right now. When you get down to the bead, you'll hear it cutting the wires inside, and of course it can't cut them. It'll just make noises. So you just cut the chunk of rubber right out, just like that. Well then you, after your piece is cut out, turn your knife on a sharp angle like this, and saw right down sideways to all the rubbers taken off and the wires are slightly exposed. Then light up your acetylene torch. The cutting torch works best. Make it extremely a hot flame. You push on the rubber and squish it in up here and shoot the flame straight down. You don't very often even have to inject oxygen and burn through all those steel cords that keep it held tight on the bead on the rim you'll hear them snapping and sparking. If you're good at this, like me, you don't even change the color of the aluminum or melt the finish on it or even burn the paint on a steel rim. Then just go to the back side of your tire, cut another hole and do the same thing. Now the tire can be taken off with bare hands. It just peels off like that. No tools necessary. All takes five minutes. Next step when you're putting a tire back on your rim, you got to lube it up a little bit. So I like to use Spray 9, but soapy water does just fine. Just rub some around the bead. Now imagine that this has no tire on the rim. You just choose any place on the rim and lock a vice grip on the edge of the lip. Well, then you just start peeling the tire on with one trusty screwdriver. Sort of get it pushed on part way over the edge by hand. Vice grip, say, locking there, for example and then just peel the rest on. This process is so easy, all I do is jack up my quad so the wheels are a couple inches in the air. I don't even take the wheels off the machine. And I peel the tires off the machine and I put them back on again. Everything intact. So, total job is about 10 minutes per wheel and just a few simple tools. So simple, you gotta love it.